This is Stu Spaulding. I'm the tech service manager with DIG Corporation. And today I'm going to show you how to install a Lima 1600 HE actuator on a pressurized inline AC irrigation valve. If this is a new installation, it is recommended to install the adapters and solenoid actuators before installing the valve. Before getting started, we need to verify a few things. First, make sure the valve to be converted is a normally closed valve and that it is compatible with one of DIG's adapters. The compatible valves are listed on DIG's website, catalog, and price list. Second, make sure the flow control handle on the valve is open and that the valve opens and closes with the existing AC solenoid installed. Be sure to have the correct adapter for the valve to be converted, along with the proper tools for the job. You will need a small pair of channel lock pliers, a pair of wire strippers, and some waterproof wire splices. Now you are ready to begin. First, shut off the main water supply to the valve. Next, unscrew and remove the AC solenoid. Make sure the O-ring is in place on the adapter, then install the adapter first, turning it clockwise into the female threads by hand. Do not use any Teflon tape or thread sealant. Tighten it slightly more with the pliers if necessary. Next, screw the Lima 1600 HE clockwise into the adapter. Tighten it by hand until it is snug. Do not use a wrench or Teflon tape. Now open the water supply and pressurize the valve. It is normal for the valve to be open, but after a few seconds the valve should close. Verify that the valve opens and closes by turning the solenoid and that the adapter remains stationary when doing so. The next step is to splice the two solenoid wires to the field wires. The red wire should be spliced to the hot wire and the white wire to the common wire. It is very important to have a waterproof splice, so be sure to use waterproof wire connectors along with a copper crimp sleeve for the best connection. Wire nuts or waterproof wire nuts are not recommended. Finally, from the controller or multi-pro remote, verify the controller solenoid operation by starting a manual run on the station installed. Make sure that the valve opens and closes via the controller. Please keep in mind it may take up to one minute for the valve to open.